Hey guys, Greg Denning. I wanted to share some awesome principles I've been learning and studying recently. You know, I'm always reading great books. I uh, read three books this week. Uh, all fantastic, recommended all. The Charge by Brendan Burchard. Uh, the Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And Essentialism by Greg McCohen. And inside essential, Essentialism, I love the principles. And you guys know I love minimalism. I love being free from what's been called the burden of possessions. And we're, our lives get too cluttered and too busy. You've seen my other videos about that. But there's this awesome idea of, uh, well, it almost, almost a new idea. It's, it's mentalism, but it's with this idea of essentialism. Only keep the things in your life that are essential, that really add value. But you have to do it across the board. The discipline to your schedule, your relationships, the things you have and possess or that possess you, uh, what you choose to do with your time, with your work, with your hobbies. I really want you to be disciplined and, and kind of cut the fat, so to speak, and get down to where your life is literally packed with things that just bring so much meaning and value and fulfillment to you. So, so step back, take a look, and even track. What you can do is track, right? Go through and kind of track your, <laughs> go through your closet, go through your desk, go through your house, and then go through your schedule and kind of track what you do with your time, do it with your food. Just go through every aspect of your life, each important role you have as a parent, as a friend, as a sibling, as a child, as a leader, uh, as a member of a certain organization or church or group. Just go through everything and say, what's, what's excess here? What is it, isn't fitting into the most important things? And ask yourself that in each role, in each area. Say, what are the most important things? What's my most important role? What's the thing that I do that makes the biggest difference? And the big takeaway is that if we don't prioritize our lives, then somebody else or something else will, right? I mean, it just kind of creeps in like weeds into your garden. If we, don't, if we don't make space and keep them out, then they come on in and they take over and all of a sudden we're kind of feeling frustrated and we don't have the energy we want, we don't have the time we need, we're, we're feeling unfulfilled and it's kind of like life gets really kind of disturbing. You feel kind of bothered. But if we can clear the clutter, then we, everything's purposeful. And man, I, if I look back over the last you know, 10, 20 years, the best times are when the clutter's gone and I'm focusing on the things that matter most. And the most frustrating times or when there's, there's things getting in the way and cluttering and blocking my purpose and my mission and my, my most important task. When I find myself working on things that aren't like my top thing, my number one thing, I feel that. Maybe you felt that too. So here's my challenge. Go through your life. Identify, clearly identify what's essential. Have the discipline and the determination to get rid of the clutter, the excess that's kind of getting in the way, and just get dialed in so you're living totally purpose-filled life. Okay? Uh, for more information on that, on prioritizing your life and some awesome resources, come over to gregdenning.com. I got tons of resources in there for prioritizing, for scheduling, for, for getting your big goals and dreams in place, and then mapping out a clear plan to make it happen. So you live a life that you absolutely love and is clearly moving you in the direction of your dreams. Reach upward.